Another day, another bug bite. But today I want to talk about how the keys to having a better sex life often have nothing to do with sex itself. So much of the time, the narrative around improving your sex life is know the right technique or the stroke or position and just change it up this way. And those things can be so helpful. They can be life-changing. If you struggle to orgasm, sometimes it really is just about finding the right position or stroke or technique. We're back. So to recap, techniques can be life-changing, but more often than that, it's other stuff that you need to work on in order to improve your sex life. Stuff like your stress levels, how you feel about your body, how you feel about your relationship, your expectations about what should and should not be okay for sex. So that means the key to a better sex life is yes, learning the tips and positions and tools and techniques, those are all important, but it's also, quite frankly, taking care of your life and your emotions. I feel like, Kate, what the fuck does this have to do with a better sex life? Here's what I have to say. Having great sex is about doing all of the things that feel yummy and delicious and taking away the things that don't feel like that. And then one more layer to that is that it's also dismantling these ideas and expectations of what should and shouldn't be based on your reality. So say you're not feeling great in your body and that makes you want to have sex with the lights off, right? But you then on top of that, which makes you feel icky, feel like you shouldn't need this to have the lights off this turns into is multiple layers and levels of things holding you back from being able to relax and let go and enjoy. So to recap, keep learning fantastic sex tips and positions and toys. All that's important. And also take care of your emotional state and what turns you off.